finally, at last, I have got a shotgun Moab. What's up, guys? My name is Link Swallow, and in this gameplay, I am going to be telling you how to get a shotgun Moab the easiest way possible, and how I've managed to do it. I'm going to explain everything about it. Boom, sit down. Boom, sit down. Sit down. You as well. Get on your ass, bitch. Have it in the face. Nice little quad piece there. You know what I mean? Four kills in the space for a few seconds. This gun is absolutely amazing. Right now, first of all, guys, how can you get a shotgun mob? And what does a shotgun mob actually mean? A shotgun mob means that you're going to obviously have to be quite good with a shotgun. You're going to have to get a little bit lucky. And you're going to have to know your map, know your knowledge. And, um, and yeah, I'm going to explain some ways about how you can make this easy for yourself. And how you can kind of... Play a few, play like play about ten or ten or twenty games, and you'll get a few mobs with your shotgun in that. Now, first of all, the shotgun itself. What what shotgun you choose to use is the biggest and most important decision you will make when it comes to getting a shotgun mob. Whichever shotgun you are most comfortable with, use that. It doesn't matter about damage, doesn't matter about power. Whichever gun you're most comfortable with, use that. However, there are some recommendations that I can give, such as the striker or the KSG or the USAS because those guns have recently been improved they, they've um, they've been tested and people have tried them and they are definitely much better than they used to be they're really really quite good guns now at this stage in the game but um, yeah why am I using the spars then? I'm using the spars because I didn't know this at this point and I thought this spars was a very good gun with damage and it actually is it's a fantastic gun guys and I'm trying to get it gold and it's it's really really good with damage on without damage it's a nightmare it will let you down you will really want to kill yourself after using this gun without damage on because it sucks without damage on this gun is just awful you, you can shoot them point blank they'll still run at you and then they'll knife you like this you see what I do there I get them from across the map with this bus that is a very rare clip I bet you without damage your shotgun will not do that right so just you have to hold out for this gun get a level 29 or 23 or whatever it is get your spars Sorry, get your damage proficiency, and then it becomes a lot easier. I'm using specialist because you need specialist to get a shotgun mob. Otherwise, you're pretty limited in how good you can do with it because you do need all those proficiencies that click on at the last um, specialist upgrade. You just, you really do need it, guys. It'll help you all the way. It'll make it ten times easier. And yeah, I've got extended mags on because it's the only really useful attachment. A grip doesn't really do too much. Um, you don't need a sight on it at all because it's better to shoot from the hip. However, you do see me aim here for the the range, the kills that require a little bit more range, you know, guys. So yeah, what do you want to do with a shotgun? With any shotgun in the game, you want to shoot from your hip. Make sure you shoot from your hip. Eh? You give yourself a nice wider, uh, wider berth for the pellets to shoot out, at, and it means y you're less likely to miss because there's a smaller, there's a smaller. When you aim down sight, you've got a smaller kind of smaller place to look down. I don't know what it means. You want you to look down sight, and there's a little hole. That's what she said. Um, just you know what I mean when you aim down sights. I don't know how I can word it. But anyway, guys moving swiftly on this is this commentary is such a fail but anyway i'm going to talk about this game a little bit because in this game i was playing with a uh, picky picky i think he's called richard and he was so close to his mob and at this point right now i think he he died one off it and i he, he shouted so loudly down the mic i think he, he swore about something or whatever and i got a big fright and he jumped out my skin and I, and I didn't comment back about it, I just said, alright, yeah. But actually, I was shitting myself because he'd give me a massive fright. I was on a nice little streak with the spars, and the spars is quite difficult to use, as I mentioned. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I kept my, I kept it quiet, and then I started asking for call-outs, because I did need call-outs, because the communication wasn't wasn't going too well. Because there was only there was only me and him, and then another two other people, I think, but I didn't know the other two people too well. But anyway, guys, let's uh, get back to this gameplay here. You see me, I'm running around the map in a certain direction. I'm trying to keep to the corners. I'm trying to keep it indoors. I'm going to keep the fight indoors so I can control the building that I'm in. I know which entrances there are. If I'm out in the open, then I'm just going to get shot from a distance. I can get shot from someone indoors from cover. And a spaz isn't going to do anything. Like right here, guys, you see there? I got shot from a distance, so I'm going to dart back around the corner and I'm going to take away his advantage on me, which was the distance. I'll come around the corner. That means he's going to approach me without any distance, which means the spaz can it can flourish in that range and it's going to allow me to get a nice kill it's going to it's going to really tip the odds in my favor because that's what i want what you want to do is you want to make sure you're approaching your enemies with as little distance as possible between you and him okay so like here guys you see there I sh i'm darting straight back indoors because i'm not going to want to risk running across there they've spawned there that's their flag i'm going to ignore that and i'm just going to try and win it i'm going to try and make the gunfight my gunfight i'm going to approach the control and i'm going to I'm going to make sure that there is an engagement on my terms. It's kind of... You want to kind of put the ethos of camping towards this method, guys. Because it's 
it's really hard to get a shotgun mob there'll be a lot of frustration guys but with these tips hopefully you can get one quite fast you get one quite easily and you'll be able to get a few of them as well not just the one not just the black sheep guys you can get a few of them so yeah up here you do a see me i get the mob now when i do get the mob i get three kills with it which is really really bad i don't know why i only got three kills with it there was more people on the other team i don't know if they were watching kill cams but i think that's a bit shit getting a mob and then only getting three kills with it 24 kills for a three kill kill streak don't know how that works but anyway guys i do call it in there and uh yep guys i'm going to be cutting this video off here because the rest of the game is pretty boring so i hope you've enjoyed this guys i've really enjoyed getting this gameplay and um yeah thank you very much for watching guys it's been link swallowed i've i know this has been a pretty strange comment you guys but i'm i'm about to head out now um not sure where i'm going but yeah whatever um yeah it's been link swallowed guys thanks